Motion equations are fun and cool, especially if you use this method for solving them. Take three snapshots of a disk. The difference between the coordinates, our velocities, and of course any change in velocity or momentum must be caused by some external force. By rearranging our equations, we actually left only these coordinates and forces at each time step. And this is known as world integration method. This method is very stable and easy for certain problems. To make this bouncing ball example, we simply need to check the boundaries and flip the velocity vector. Or, in addition, rescale it with a coefficient to account for losses. And here is how easy you can implement it in Wolfram language. And here is the full source for the animation we just seen. There is a special case where this method truly shines. Here we have two connected disks hanging on a wall. Let's apply gravity force to one of them as we did before. And of course it breaks our initial bond. Here we denote the opposite vector to the elongation direction as delta d that we will need later. Since in Verlip methods the velocity is implicit, we don't need to think about the momentum or tension, but only adjust the positions of connected disks, each by the half of delta. And then we do need to do the same for the other pair, and by repeating the whole process for every iteration, we've got a double pendulum. We can go much further and construct a mesh from an image that we can draw on the screen. And it's really impressive how such a simple algorithm can be applied to individual bonds and be so effective on larger scales.